We're Steph and Micah, and we bought this 2003 ambulance to convert into a camper van. Easy enough. This week, you'll see this tiny home on wheels finally start to take shape. Be sure to subscribe to watch the full transformation unfold. It's looking so good! Look at that! Byron is going a little crazy. Pretty great, huh? Yeah. Hey. hey! Did you hurt yourself? Yeah. <gasps> you can get cut by rubber? Yeah. So we're kind of starting the day a little late. It's about 3 p.m. right now. Just because we had some friends over this morning, they wanted to see our tiny house and the ambulance. But the plan for today is to spray paint these lights. The main reason for taking them out is because I have new LED lights that are going in there. We also want to start doing the insulation inside. There's still a little bit of electrical to be done, but I think we can start. Paint. Instead of finding an, a bulb that will replace it, I'm just drilling a hole and I'm going to stick the LED pad right there. Easy enough. Let's see if that fits. Wow, that's good. It's real tight. Three panels in. Not too bad. What's up everybody? So I'm working on these floodlights that I'm gonna pop up over here, but I did mess up. One, I put it up uh, upside down. Second, I put it up before the paint dried, so I need to take it down, flip it upside down, repaint it. So that's the whole thing. But I wanted to show you that the light works. <gasps> there it goes. It's pretty bright, huh? Yeah, good job. Hey, so that's it for today. It's getting dark. I didn't finish, Steph didn't finish, but we got a lot done. In like two hours. We only yeah, we only two had hours. two hours, so I think we did pretty good. But now Mike is taking all these lights out and he's gonna spray paint them black. So tomorrow they'll be ready to just be put on. Yep. So we'll just leave it like that overnight. I did all of this today, which is not too bad in two hours. See you tomorrow. Mike has been using this as his dumpster. I'm telling them you've been using this as your dumpster. Well, it's just easy. Like if I'm over there, I just toss it in here. It's like perfect height. Yeah, well, I'm cleaning it out, so. Thank you. I'm assuming you don't need anything. I just cleaned all of that, 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 this thing. It's really nice now. All of this, but all the unnecessary tools are gone. Feels so good. I'm gonna fill up these holes on the ceiling with um, plastic wood. <laughs> Looks so good. Hey y'all. So, done with the rigid insulation, but now I gotta use this stuff. For certain areas, like where the cables are a little too complicated to cut around, and then I'm gonna use it in some of the doors and some of the crevices. So, we're using a combo of insulation. We're gonna do our best to be as warm and quiet as possible. This is the way to cut that insulation. You take a level, press it down as much as you can, and then raise the blade or whatever. 
it makes it a little bit easier to cut. Yep. I wasted a lot of time on the tiny house. <laughs> Every nook and cranny. So we just cut this plywood for this wall. It's gonna go right there, but we kinda have to figure things out. And then we kinda got into a little heated conversation. <laughs> How do you say that nicely? We got into an argument, <laughs> like a normal person. We got into an argument because I thought we could just slap the plywood there but there's like outlets and lights and stuff. And I just like did not know that we had to do all of that. But anyways, we're getting it done. Whoa, first try. Yeah. But it's getting dark, so we're just gonna put up that one piece today. It's getting really cold too, so time to go eat pizza. Welcome. <laughs> okay, Hi. we are in the workshop installing the walls because it is raining again. Guys, this is like day seven of non-stop rain. I'm going crazy, but it's okay. Like we, we can still work on the ambulance, which is really nice. This is what we have done so far. I don't know how far we're gonna get. What's your prediction? I think we could finish that wall. I think till here. Like I think still there. I think till here. I'm ambitious, then you're- Cautious. Cautious. <laughs> we got light. We got a board dog, and we got another plywood put up. Whoop, whoop. Byron is going a little crazy. You okay, bud? It's just he hasn't been able to like run around for a week now. Nation. <laughs> it's pretty cold. 34 and 7 eighths. Uh uh. <laughs> You're doing it on purpose, aren't you? Stay over there. Just right there. Lay down. He's been burying that thing all over the yard. Guys, it's cold. We have to get some extra sweaters. This is a complicated fit. We've been like working on it for over an hour. An hour? Yeah. It's looking so good. Do you want me to film your butt? <laughs> you asked me to. I can't believe you just film my butt. Micah needs to cut like, what, a quarter? One eighth. eighth. One eighth. It's just a little too big. <laughs> it's like, it sounds like you're cutting nothing. It's literally cutting nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's pouring. I'm trying to help! I wanted you to do the top one. Why is that faster? These are the ones that I was working on. Byron, what are you doing? Why does this connect to that? What's up, y'all? No, <laughs> stop starting it like that. Okay, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Check it. What's up? How y'all doing? Okay, so we finished <laughs> this side of the wall, like I predicted. Yeah, Micah was right. But this was a complicated cut because of all of this. And we didn't have the morning. We only started at like 
12.30. Yeah. So, I don't feel too bad. Brian is, like, extremely bored. Uh, and a lot of planning goes into it that you don't account for when you're trying to put things together. But it looks good. I mean, it's going to look better once all the holes are covered. And I started covering the holes over here. I did a couple ones here I still need to sand. So, that's, that's my job. Yep. But yeah, looks good. See you next week. Wait, see you again. See you next week. I've been more excited. I'll see you next week. Ooh. And we're back. Will it be a first try fit? I'd say that's first try. Steph is gonna back this thing up. You got it. <laughs>